Compressing? Oh! Why? Never pick up the weights like this. And that happens so many times. It happens to us as well. Losing focus. That's why you always gotta stay focused. Good morning, Gregory from Lippenstock here. Carolyn Gervan or Girvan. Gir actually means bell in Russian. Very interesting. She always pops up when it comes to kettlebell workouts. You type in kettlebell workouts on YouTube and she's one of the first that pops up. So let's check out how she does it with the kettlebell. We have a 30 minute kettlebell workout. This is going to incorporate 20 different exercises, all supersetted with this alternating hand grip kettlebell swing so hand-to-hand -hand swing so we will call it she calls it alternating hand swings our experience is the more exercises you do the more complicated it gets for the clients i'm the basics guy you know it so i always believe less is probably more but let's see how she does it but yeah just simply walk away at your own pace i hope you really enjoy this workout and get a really good right. session done all right let's go really professionally done let's go on ps ps <laughs> i love the australian australian accent ps ps a goblet squat is a front squat so legs out chest up always make sure that the body stays straight and it's 16 kilo that's that's good stuff always make sure that your knees are out so really push them out your chest stays upright all right and now she goes straight up into the you be careful how you put that weight down what we always like to do is we let it go and then we grab it directly into a hinge motion to the swing. If we put it down like this, you gotta be careful with your back, man. Oh, how she starts. Oh, you gotta start like this. You gotta start in the triangle, put the kettlebell in front of you, then you get started. That's how you do it, but. So she talked about the hinge motion, right? But here she does a squat motion. Oh, she swip, she flips it at the bottom. And now she flips it at the top, right? So she got a little bit confused probably. And she overextends, right? So the acceleration that comes from the backswing is strong and her anterior chain should serve as a break and she doesn't break enough. So it's too weak. So the hip, the pelvis goes too far forward and then looks a little bit tricky now what is okay in my book is if your upper back is rounded in a kyphotic position that's okay if your lower back is safe if the the lumbar spine is locked and in that case doesn't look like it is mm, gotta be careful with this she's, yeah she's having a little bit trouble with the switching sumo squat and they call it the squat with a pulse yup just some leg work and i actually like the idea of working for time we always love the idea of working for time and she got those thick soles on her shoes like we always say make sure you go barefoot or you have flat soles and i actually like the combo i actually like the combo so it's like hey we do a grind and then we go into a ballistic move combine it i actually like the idea so now with the staggered romanian deadlift you want to isolate the leg that's the reason why you do it and it's totally fine. Her back is safe. Yeah, it's good work. She goes into a Romanian deadlift. She's st still leg work, man. That's a lot of leg work. Why is she flexing her arms? You can just keep your arms straight. Yeah. She probably goes down a little bit too much. Other than that... The back is safe, but make sure your arms are straight. You don't have to keep them flexed. Only legs only. So that's a leg only workout. It's probably a little bit too much halfway to happiness. <laughs> now, side lunge. I don't like side lunges. See, if you, if you would see it from the side, she bends forward, so her lower back has to carry the weight. I believe the reverse lunges are one of the best lunges you can do. But now, up until now, it's only legs, man. What about the upper body? Some pressing? Oh, why? Never pick up the weights like this. And that happens so many times. It happens to us as well. Losing focus. That's why you always got to stay focused. So now some bent over rows. Let's see how that goes. All right, that's cool. Maybe you can try to keep your shoulder blades tight. Don't let them go down as much but that's just being picky right now i think it's safe safe it's totally fine and like i already mentioned i like the idea to combine it with the ballistics 
to really get that flowing going with the bell. It's just great when you have this for time aspect. You don't have to think about reps. You don't have to think about anything. You just keep pumping and you keep working. So here we go. Overhead press. Make sure you press it. You keep it firmly extended. Not even a few seconds, just shortly. And then you come down, really fully extend your arms. And I will grab the kettlebell differently. We call it the CrossFit grip. Thumbs inside, the window, fingers outside. Little safer. And then when you put it down like this, yeah, learning how to put the weights down like this in a ballistic move, it takes some time. And she's having some trouble with the, with the handover. Always make sure, guys, the handover phase is on top. It's the best way to switch the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> she smiles, but hey. All right. May happen. Hand over, always on top. So I'm glad that she incorporated some overhead movements with the pressing. Uh, she calls it squat to press. It's a thruster, actually. So now you're gonna make sure once the kettlebell's in the overhead top fixation, that biceps close to your ear, the arms fully extended, and your head right in between your arms. Yep and to really feel it. You don't have to go fast. Just feel it for a second, boom, stop it, fully extended, then you go down. Yeah, but just being a little bit picky. Now she does the swing with the swing. What? The swing with the swing. Works a little bit better with both hands. Let's see how she does it. Now, why you guys not? Put the weight down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this thousands of times in these reactions. Let me tell you. Now actually your hinge is better. The hinge is better in this one. Just. A little bit make sure your knees are as extended as possible only working your hips and still hyper extending a little bit I actually like the idea of combining the for time aspect when you say okay I'm doing a grind and then I immediately use a ballistic exercise I like the idea because it gets your heart rate up you do a little bit more work with the weight selection always got to be careful a little bit although she had some great exercises some of them may be a little bit redundant but hey it's totally fine and i want to emphasize this once again with the hand-to-hand -hand swing or the swing if you go with your upper back back in a slightly kyphotic position make sure that your lower body your glutes are tight your your quads are tight your abs are braced so that the lower part of your spine is locked and then when your upper body leans back a little on the top face that's fine and don't hyperextend it. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, consider subscribing if you want to see more kettlebell content. And if you're looking for a program that builds you up from a beginner to a slowly advanced level in the course of about three months, and maybe you want to combine it with some easy to follow nutrition coaching, then you maybe want to check out 90 Days of Kettlebells. You find the link in the description. 14 day free trial, 14 day free, 14 day free trial included.